this week. Okay, we're going into the land of um, my friend Taurus here. So greetings Taurus, uh, welcome your horoscope. So what are we looking at? Well, what we're making happen here is you have Venus getting out uh, into your seventh house now. And so, and I always feel like in Western astrology, um, you know, not a lot of people because it's sort of like Venus and Scorpio is debilitated because, you know, Scorpio's Mars rule, which is sort of opposite of um, Venus, but, you know, in Vedic astrology, most Venus and Scorpios and Libra, it's actually very exalted and good. And this is the other thing I don't quite understand is because, you know, water signs in Western astrology all rule the imagination and emotional sensitivity. And in that is creativity, you know. And especially in Pisces and Scorpio. But there is in Cancer too. As long as they're not too sentimental. <laughs> no, and, um, the, but in, uh, and so since Scorpio's key phrase in modern astrology is I create, um, you know, you're creating a relationship right now, Taurus. You know, you're creating, and like if you were singing in a duet or in a band or something right now, the whole music thing goes better. Everything you do that is involved with engaging other people actually is going to go better. And that is nice. You still have Mercury in the fifth house. So, you know, you've got play and love on your mind. But here's the, here's the warning. It's like you have to pay attention to your health. This is a year where you cannot ignore your health at all. Jupiter's going through your sixth house and it's, you know, it's going to account for stuff. So, hey, wait, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You know, that's, we want to make it good now. So let's be good to ourselves, create that culture.